Welcome, Internet, to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today I'm joined by Adam. Hey! And Jason. Yo, what's our going? video producer, and he's going to be on chat this time. Yeah. We're taking a look at Diablo 3, uh, arguably the biggest release of the week. Depending arguably? If you're, really? Depending if you're a console gamer or a PC gamer, Max Payne 3 is a pretty big deal as well. Uh, for me, I've been waiting for this game for a long, long, Seriously, long time. Right? It feels like since my childhood. Uh, Adam, you've been playing it for a review. Yep. Uh, why don't you just kind of lead us through it? What do you think so far? I pretty much love it. Uh, there are there's certainly plenty that you can talk about in terms of the server problems, um, and I absolutely understand all that frustration. I've had some of that frustration myself, but once I'm in and playing the game, it has been just awesome. And you can't really just hold the game to its first day or first two days of being available. Obviously, they're doing everything they can, Blizzard, to uh, iron out the problems and make sure everybody can connect and play. And it seems like everything's been okay uh, as of today. Today is Wednesday uh, for this recording. Well, the recording would have been out on Tuesday had the server's been working. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We, uh, we ran into Era 30, 30, what was it, 37? Era 37, 30, 32, 3006. I'm a big fan of 3003 myself. I've gotten that one a lot. Yeah, but uh, but no, I mean the the game itself has been great. I am uh, level twenty nine, I believe. I'm about a little over halfway, I think, through Act Three, and things are happening. Oh, there's a guy. All right, uh, but things are happening. They're going pretty well. I am. What kind of class are you playing? Adam? Playing a barbarian. He is very smashy, smashy. Barbarians have the option to dual wield sword and shield. Or where I wield a two-hander. Um, I have, as you can see, gone with the shield, as I find the damage increase not that exciting from doing it the other way. I was going to say, you did start out with the uh, two-handed weapons. And that's I love the, that! Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, that's the best. You just took out like 20 spiders at once. I know, it was great, right? Scorpo spiders? What are those? I don't know what the heck they are. I'm not <laughs> super concerned. I love how it looks like a concept art painting. I know. Like just the texture that the ground he's walking on looks fantastic. That is an amazing ground texture, I'll admit. That's. I'm kind of sad that we're still talking about ground textures in 2012, <laughs> but, you know, that's all right. I don't think that's ever going to end. <laughs> uh, when people see the next generation games, we're going to be talking about it again. Adam, I, I see you've got a, a ton of skills now, and, and, and that's actually one of the big, big changes in this game over uh, the last one. Whereas the last one, you assigned points, and it's kind of a min-max game. Now you assign skills to slots. That's Tell right. a bit more about that. So you unlock your skills as you're just sort of playing. Yeah, that's a big worm. Uh, you unlock your skills as you level, and they just automatically unlock. Uh, and then you you can slot them in whenever you like. Man, there are a lot of these. What's going on? All right. Uh, and so I have uh, slotted a bunch of defensive and area effect skills. So basically, I'm playing where, as you can see, I'm kind of jumping into the middle of everything, hitting a bunch of buttons, and just watching these guys explode. Like, my basic attack is cleave and cleave not only does it hit a bunch of guys it also builds my fury that i need to use my other skills and oh this will be interesting it also i have it uh, improved with a rune that makes it where i sorry i'm trying not to die because these guys will totally kill me um so the rune makes it so that when i kill a dude with cleave he explodes which is how i'm getting these big crazy like chain reactions with the spiders. And the runes will specialize your powers as well. That's right. That is that is the, the cleave rune that I'm using. There's also uh, there's one that really inc dramatically increases the amount of fury it gives you, mm -hmm. uh, which is another one that I've used a little bit. But the, uh, the explosion one, as you can see, I'm not sure if it's the most effective, but it's definitely the most amusing. So... That's what I have slotted. Well, the animation is great. I was a little worried about the other uh, skill system, but uh, with the announcement of runes, and, and I've seen, you know, how different they are, you know, once those runes are slotted. It's really impressive, actually. Like, I, you know, I've been chatting with some, some friends who are playing Barbarians, and uh, come back, worm. There you are. Come on. There you go. Uh, chatting with some friends who are playing Barbarians, and they're all playing totally different than I am, but they love their characters, too. You know, there's guys who, who really love playing, like, dual-wield Frenzy Whirlwind. 
and and they love it. And oh man, I just chopped that worm's head off because <laughs> I'm a boss. <laughs> So the game's fun, is what you're saying. I'm having a good time. Yeah, yeah can you I'm take us into the, the menus and just kind of show off some of this stuff? Absolutely. Yeah, let's see some of the skill stuff. So this is your character screen. It's pretty much what you'd expect. I'm not going to bother with that. The skill stuff is here. So as you can see, I can just jump in, switch my left click skill to bash. Uh, let's put, what do you think, punish? Punish sounds good. Oh yeah, punish is awesome. And I switch that out, and now I have a different left click skill. You can freely respec at any time. It doesn't cost That's you anything. That's amazing. Uh, you know, a lot of people were worried that this is gonna, you know, really reduce the, uh, the sort of attachment that you have to your characters. Oh my goodness. I got problems. My problem is that I'm using Bash for illustration. It doesn't really fit with the rest of my build. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Run. Yeah, that's run, what we're doing. Run, little Adam, run. Oh, who's, that's not Who's the other guy the, with you there? That is my little buddy. Oh gosh, I'm still gonna die. Oh, he's a, yep, I'm dead. Well, that's embarrassing. Well, we can see what the uh, death penalty does. Sweet. <laughs> you basically you lose a little bit of money. Um, it revives me back at the last checkpoint, which is right where we started this thing. And my items lose durability, which doesn't really do anything. It just means I have to pay to repair them. Gotcha. And that's it. And I can just run on back. Um, it's even better in co-op because whenever you're in the town in co-op, uh, you can just click on a friend's banner and you will teleport directly to that friend. So you can always just immediately rejoin your party. That's awesome. Which is really, really great. Um, anyway, you asked me about my follower. Is this guy? I need to switch back to Cleaver. I'm just going to keep dying. Uh, not that Bash is bad. It's actually quite good, but it doesn't work nearly as well with my build, with the rest of it, um, and the way that I've been playing, because the way, that, I mean, switching a single skill makes a huge difference in the way that your character plays. And so I'm going to use totally different tactics if I'm playing you know, bash, whirlwind, that kind of thing, as I, w as I am doing, the, doing it the way I, that I'm doing. Now, my build's not without weaknesses. I do have, uh, like, I don't do nearly as much single target damage as, as I could. Um, there we go. Well, see, there, we took care of that. But it seems like, at least in this dungeon here, there's always tons of enemies. This is for actually- you to take big swings at. Yeah, I mean, this guy is, oh, forget that he always does that. Um, this guy is, I mean, I would kill those, those big guys a lot faster with a different build. Gotcha. Um, but I murder, I mean, you can see how I just tear through crowds here. I need to find another big crowd, which isn't going to take long, but I want to show you my favorite skill that I've gotten so far. And here we go. See, this is, these spiders, they die so quick. I don't even want to use my cool skill because it's got a bit of a cooldown on it. You get this little uh, little uh, bonus for killing a bunch of dudes. Like, that was uh, for killing a bunch of guys with one swing. Um, and it's just a little bonus XP. It's just a little, like, hey, nice job. And what kind of gear are you rocking? Have you found any legendary weapons yet? I haven't actually <laughs> so much as laid eyes on a legendary or a unique item. You can see the yellow backing. That means it's rares. Okay, so you're doing are, pretty well with, with rare stuff. I'm doing right? all right, yeah. And then I have a couple of blue items. They're pretty decent blue items as far as my level goes. Oh, those are old. Um... But, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm actually using a sword that I bought off the auction house. Ooh. Um, which cost me just like 5,000 gold, which isn't isn't a ton. All right, we're going to... Yeah. Give Those are the man. ancients from Diablo 2. Oh, my Any God, Diablo 2 player awesome. will remember them. Uh, the barbarian can summon them as one of his skills. Uh, it actually makes for a really cool trade-off. Uh, because I'm slotting... I'm using one of my skills... To, to slot something that I can only use every two minutes. But, I mean, it's totally awesome. As you can see, those guys, they just murder through whatever. So that's an interesting trade-off. But those are the ancients that I'm And are they them. invincible? They just stick around for a certain amount of time? Yeah, it's like 20 or 30 seconds or something. <sighs> to further drill down with the skills, like you have different yeah. types of slots as well. Like You can't have like bash and cleave. Like By default, that's true. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, there's actually a setting called elective mode yes. that I suggest that everybody turns on, which lets you slot whatever, wherever. Like, you'll see me doing my leap and my ground stomp a lot. Mm -hmm. Those are both technically um, defensive skills. And so I wouldn't be able to slot those both if I hadn't turned elective mode on. Yeah, normally, normally you'd have to swap them out. Correct. Go into the menu screen, wait for the cooldown. But, but it, it's, it's literally, it's just an option in... 
in the, the menu. It's really easy to switch. Like I said, I suggest that everybody does it. Me too. Now, you're level 28. Where are we at in the game? Obviously, you haven't finished it yet. Right. Uh, we are about two-thirds of the way through Act 3, as near as I can tell. I have just recently killed what I suspect was the halfway point boss. There's been a, there's been a mid boss for every act so far, and I'm guessing or for Act One and Two, and so I'm guessing that the the fight was the mid boss of Act Three that I just did. Gotcha. Um. So, the the interesting thing is that there's really been a ton of different not just different monsters that you see, but different encounter types. Like these worms, I've never seen anything like that that kind of teleports effectively teleports around like these worms do until just now. And like these giant swarms, like my build deals with these really well, other builds are going to have problems dealing with these big swarms of little monsters. So, so that's really cool. You saw just recently before this, you can see how quick area loads are once I actually managed to click on it. Oh man. Um, but you saw here, like this, uh, there's some dialogue going on here. There's a ton more story in this game, like a ton. It's ridiculously more story driven than previous Diablo games. Sorry, try not to die. Let's say that uh, as soon as we finished this test chamber, I got really sick and I had to go home <laughs> and I decided to turn on Diablo because that seemed to help with my cold. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can I just join you? Can I jump right in? You can, it is, it is a one click from the menu to like you, when you log in, in the character screen, you see a little window, shows you where your friends are playing it, and it's one click join. Do they do any scaling to my level if I come in at like level six? No, you need, you'll need to play with people who are around your level for the optimal experience. Uh, but as long as you are, I mean, it is an extremely seamless transition. It's really great. It's pretty generous with the uh, the level gap. I think it's ten levels before you start seeing like a significant decrease in your experience gain. So yeah, it's not too bad. And the nice thing is you get full quest experience for helping somebody else with their quests. Um, so actually, That's I've cool. done a, I've done a fair amount of going through and, and helping a friend of mine who's just a couple levels below me, and he uh, I get the same quest rewards of money. Oh, here we see. Oh, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna get this guy in time. No, this you is, got him. Get him. I'm trying. The thing is, he'll. It's a timed thing, and he will. He's gonna try to portal out, and then I'm not gonna get all of his loot. He's like that dungeon master from those old D&D &D cartoons. He's a total... <laughs> yeah, you gotta get him. He's like the imp from uh, Golden Axe. Yeah, see, get he's him. gonna make it... No! no. My, like, my build is so bad at single target that I haven't been able to get any of those for a while, which is annoying. And what do they give you? Uh, just a bunch of loot. It's like, it's like getting... It's like opening a huge chest. Uh, if you manage to successfully take care of them. But, like I said, I'm really bad at single target. But, I'm extremely hard to kill. I have a, uh... I have a skill called Revenge, which uh, activates when... Uh, what am I doing? I'm finding the Sin Heart. Oh, it's it's below me. I see. Um, I have a skill called Revenge that activates when I get hit. It's got a chance to activate every time I get hit. But when I hit it, it regenerates... It instantly regenerates like 8% of my health for each enemy that it hits. And it's a huge area around me. So it's just, it's like an instant, just like, okay, I get all my health back. And, oh, it, and it also does a ton of damage. It's the hardest hitting skill I have. So that's fine. I mean, you can see my health isn't really moving in a lot of these encounters. Um, I also have a kind of a healing follower here. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. I think I summoned that guy in FF10. <laughs> so, oh, some dudes. so, not to call out your look, but uh, I'm guessing every item has different cosmetic properties. Yes. Yeah, they do. They they look significantly different. You can see me here. At you're, least my helmet isn't purple Minnesota anymore. Viking. Yeah, you're a Minnesota <laughs> Viking character right now. Yeah, I've got. What is this purple? I I, I appear to have some sort of purple pants on yeah. for some reason. <laughs> I my hat was the same model but purple before that. I was a little confused. I thought I was playing Dragon Age for a second mm -hmm. with how do they ugly let you my do hat any was. matching or tweaking? Uh, yeah, you can get dyes okay. that change the color of your of your armor of your pieces of armor. Oh, so I'm like chasing an in game this, like, achievement for wearing five different uh, colored <laughs> items. Probably. There is, actually. Oh, there is? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah, they got achievements in this already. Yep. Yeah. And, nice. there, oh, man, there's achievements for everything. There's achievements for, like, completing events that randomly spawn. 
that you won't even see and you're in a time in one time through the game. Yeah, I was wondering if those would hit at launch or if they were going to wait kind of like WoW when they... I don't think WoW waited there. so much as they just didn't think of it or didn't have time or whatever. Right, right, right. Uh, but I mean, obviously they've been hugely successful in World of Warcraft and, you know, ever since uh, Xbox Live hit or X uh, Xbox Live 2, I guess, for the 360 um, achievements are a huge deal. So you've been rocking the Barbarian. Have you tried out many of the other classes? or? Uh, I have a little bit. I played well, play them all in beta when that was going on. Oh, gosh. This is going poorly. Uh, there's a lot of guys. We're going to yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get a little crap. help. It's going to be great. You got we're going to... Wow. Oh. Yeah, you're oh, good. Oh, I just... What the... There we go. All right. That's a bunch of knockback dudes is the problem that I was having there. There we go. My buddies helped me out, though. Um, I played them all through the beta, and so I, I'm a little bit more, I'm, I'm relatively familiar with at least a basic idea of all of them, but uh, my only other character that I've played at all is a uh, wizard. I keep calling her a sorceress, because that would be the, uh, the Diablo <laughs> 2 term. That's a lot of dudes. Oh, gosh. That's, see, I was getting feared there. I wasn't running away on purpose. It's like eggplant men. Those guys are awesome. Yeah, I'm not really sure what those are. The problem is, is that there's enough going on in the game that I get distracted and I have a hard time talking and then I uh, gosh but we're gonna oh, kill those dudes see my little buddy is just an awesome tank though he's freaking invincible he does basically no damage but uh, uh, and you can you can spec out your companions as well. to some extent you yeah. get to choose a different ability for them every five levels and how many and people then, can you have just just oh, oh I'm sorry co-op players is four and will they remove your minions at that point? They do. Okay. Yep. You never have uh, followers when you're playing co-op, which some people are really disappointed by. But to be honest with you, you can see how chaotic this is now. We, even with two players, oh, get it's significantly more more chaotic. You got it. With four players, it's ridiculous. With four players plus companions, it would be completely out of control. Oh, that little bastard. See, that's the problem is that I don't have any reliable snares right now except for my leap. And I just missed with my ground stomp because I'm bad at this. Got him, got him. Come on, dude. Yeah, he's trapped. Come on, oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <sighs> so much loot. Alright, so. Wasted away. Uh, what the heck? Am I way the heck back up here again? Can I jump down? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, a cool looking environment. Awesome. Has it been pretty. Uh, a pretty good rotation of different backgrounds and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Even within, like, in Diablo 2, you maybe had two per yep. act that you would see. Uh, there's been, this is the fifth <laughs> or the sixth one, maybe more than that, that I've seen so far in Act 3. There's a lot of those big guys. Yes, there are. Oh, I just love killing so many dudes. All right, Adam, I don't want to stop you from playing, and obviously you can keep playing once we're done here, but I think we're going to end this episode of Test Chamber. That was a really nice look, uh, <coughs> nice me. run through. I'm not feeling so good, Reiner. Yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> Closed room, I think. Cough, fake oh. cough. <clears throat> uh, what skills I have. Yeah, this obviously is living up to the hype, and uh, Adam has not stopped playing. I don't even know Pretty if much. he's gone home. <laughs> but uh, thanks for the look. Absolutely. And we'll see everyone on our next Test Chamber.